A brilliant man with a loving family and bright future, whose life was suddenly taken away in a deadly act of violence. Back in March of last year, 30-year-old Agamurat Agambayev was in his car heading home at the intersection of Guadalupe and Kyrene Road in Tempe when a gunman in a stolen car jumped out and shot Agamurat during an apparent carjacking. The suspect, who was wearing body armor, then opened fire on officers and ran off. The killer was chased down, arrested and charged with murder. He was just uh, 30 years old and his son was uh, two years old at that time and uh, it, it was a huge uh, sorrow uh, for, for the whole community, not for that family but for all of us. On Friday the victim's wife, friends and family gathered at Maricopa County Superior Court to learn the fate of the man who took their loved one's life. 27-year-old Anthony Andrew King had pled guilty to second-degree murder and aggravated assault and was facing a maximum 35-plus years in prison, which is exactly what the judge gave him. No matter how many years he's in, it's not going to bring our friend back. We are well aware of that. So we still feel the, you know, the sorry and feel the pain of his wife and his little kid. I know his son he was two, now he's four. You know, he doesn't even remember his that probably he will start forgetting it and that hurts a lot. During the sentencing hearing, the convicted killer apologized to Agamurat's family and asked for forgiveness. He said, although I have killed, I am not a killer. I pray that you find it in your heart to forgive me because I am truly sorry. I am so sorry for allowing the devil and drugs to take over that day. I am not a bad person. I just made some very bad decisions. Agamurat's friends like to think King meant what he said in court and is truly remorseful, but his words won't ease the pain what they are all feeling, that such a good man was taken in such a painful and senseless way. He was a very like good, loving husband. He was a very good dad and I mean he was amazing. He was like the perfect person, always like uh, very kind to everyone. Uh, around him. He was very special. He was the kindest person. He would always smile. I just remember him only smiling all the time. The victim was finishing up his second PhD from ASU and was set to start a new job as a software developer with Intel. His friends say they will continue to provide support for his wife and young son. In the newsroom, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family. Jason, thank you. A heads up on a